Hi everyone, my name is Abby Villarine. I'm here to discuss about colic and sudden infant death syndrome or SIDS. Colic is frequent, prolonged, and intense crying or fussiness in a healthy infant. Colic can be particularly frustrating for parents because the baby sisters, of course, for no apparent reason and no amount of counseling seems to bring any relief. So, um, baby is intense crying or fussiness. When you say fussiness is many reasons of tiredness, overstimulation, loneliness, or discomfort, or hungry ba si baby, or um, iyang diaper, wet ba yung diaper, nakalibang ba si baby, and then frustrating for parents, yes, frustrating ka siya sa parents, labi na si baby, magsigi og hilag kada gabi, or maabdan siya og kadlaw, and then baby is rest of course for no apparent reason, so why, why reason kung anong nihilag si baby, or na distress si baby, so this episode is often occur in the evening, when parents themselves are often tired so kita mga parents no kay kanang kapuyo na ta labi na gabi imo to car si baby og hilak or magbisyo si baby until makadlaw na na lang so episodes of colic usually peak when an infant is about 6 weeks old and decline significantly after 3 to 4 months of age so kana jud siya nga age mao ginay um pinaka frustrate sa mga parents kay bali si ka namang good nga age is fragile pa kay na sila like sa as a head niya and then um um dali pud na sila gutomon or or magsigi na sila kalibang or hi ihi or inana so well the excessive crying will resolve with time so more so blessed na siya sa time with time managing colic adds significant stress to caring for your newborn child so the cause of colic is unknown it may result from numerous contributing factors while the number of causes have been explored it's difficult for researchers to account for all the important features such as why it usually begins late in the first month of life how it varies among infants why it happens at certain times of day and why it resolves on its own in time so the possible causes the causes of colic is wala gid siya causes wala causes ang colic but na ay possible nga causes ang colic so possible contributing factors that have been explored include digestive system that isn't fully developed so wala na develop wala na fully develop ang digestive system ni baby imbalance of healthy bacteria in the digestive digestive tract food allergies or intolerances na by food allergies si baby and then overfeeding, underfeeding, or infrequent burping. So, kanang pag-burp siya sa baby is a shoulder hold. And then, mo ginay pinaka-importante sa baby after feeding. An early form of childhood migraine and uh, family stress or anxiety. That's the possible causes of colic. So, well go, um, nag-iskuta about causes of colic. But, wala siya causes ang colic. Now, we will talking about risk factors. Risk factors for colic are not well understood. So, dili dun siya masabtan pa. And then, research has not shown differences in risk when the following factors were considered. So, there are three factors lang uh, makonsider siya as risk factors such as sex of the child, female or male ba siya, preterm and full term pregnancies, Firmula feed and breastfeed babies. So, muna siya ang uh, risk factors nga makonsider. So, infants born to mothers who smoked during pregnancy or after delivery have an increased risk of developing colic. So, muna siya ang risk factors of colic. Signs and symptoms of colic tends to appear in the first 2 to 4 weeks of life and peaks at around 6 to 8 weeks of age. So usually the baby seems quiet, happy until the late afternoon or early evening. So symptoms include frowning and grimacing, a reddening of the face, mamula iyang face. The baby may pull up its legs, suggesting stomach pain. So may ilan mo si baby kung na ma, um, naay siya stomach pain kay magpatid patid na siya or magsikad sikad. And then loud and long long screaming fits. 
Grabe na siya masyagit. And then, loud tummy rumblings. Iyang tiyan, magdaguok. The baby cannot be consoled. The crying lasts for 3 hours or more. <clears throat> the baby passes wind or faces. Iyang tae. Around the time the crying stops, which could be coincidental. Last is the baby recovers and none the worse for the experience. So that's the signs and symptoms of colic. So treatment of colic. The primary goals are to suit the child as much as possible with a variety of interventions and ensure that parents have the support they need to cope. So as a parents, um, kabalo naman ta mo cope if mo cry si baby. So treatment gani is dili siya kung si baby gani mo hilak nga ah, mahatag kag treatment sa baby dili siya ingon nga paimyo ni mo siya o um, um, tambal or whatsoever nga may painom siya treatment gani sa baby is soothing strategies strategies like using a pacifier pwede ni mahatagan si baby o pacifier pero be sure ang pacifier is um, um, naka sterilize na siya and then Taking your infant for a car ride or i-walk ni mo siya sa stroller. Bisan sa inyo halang uh, surroundings. And then, um, walking around with or rocking your baby. Pwede siya. And then, yung pinaka-importante, swaddling your baby. Swaddling ni mo si baby. Kaya ba siya um, gitugnaw ra siya. Or kung iswad man kung initan po si baby pwede ra nimo siya kanang iswad nimo siya pero dili kay ni kanang dili ka nimo siya ihuot imura siyang um kanun gamay kanang pahungawan ng gamay ang diri niya badapit and then next is giving your baby a warm bath pwede pud siya kung initan gid siya and then be sure inog mag warm bath mo kanang sa procedure atong sa um um, tapping and telling and then katong sa infant bathing be sure nga inyuhag yung gikon uh, warm uh, co uh, cold boiled water ang inyong gigamit and then be sure sa nga naka wash hands mo every time nga before mo mo gunit ni baby nana and then rubbing your infant's tummy or placing your baby on the tummy for a back rub pwede sa siya play Playing an audio of heartbeats or quiet soothing sounds. Kanang makatulog lang sabi, pwede magani kanang nursery ra ang koan. Kanang imuhang ipamusik siya para makatulog siya. And then providing white noise by running a white noise machines like vacuums, washing machines, basa nearby sa room ni baby. Kay to prevent lang sa nga um dili sabaan si baby or unsad makatug siya tarong nga gikan siya gabi siya. and then dimming the lights and limiting other visual stimulation so mo na siya ang soothing strat uh, strategies sa treatment not the medicine nga imo ihatag sa baby so another treatment of colic sa baby is feeding practices so changes in feeding practices may also provide some relief Pwede po siya makarelief sa baby. And then, a battle feed your, your baby in an upright position. It's a cradle hole. And then, after feeding ni baby, um, imuha na po siyang i-shoulder hold para makaburb si baby. And then, a trial changes in diet. So, dietary changes may include formula changes. So, if you need, if you feed your infant formula, Si doctor ni mo mo suggest in one week trial of an in extensive hydrolysate formula like Similac Alimentum, uh, Notramigine, uh, Pregistimil, uh, and others. That has proteins broken down into smaller sizes. So mo na siya ang pwede masuggest si doctor and then mag-uwat resepta kung unsay pwede nga mapainom ni baby. Mauna nga, possible sad nga um kanang hilak si baby kay tungod nga di na siya pud ganahan sa sa kanang gatas nga kung kung bato feed si baby dili siya ganan ani nga gatas yung mo na nga mo transfer kag i-change ni mog another um milk si baby so si doctor may makahatag ni mo ana one week trial mao na ihatag ni doctor and then mas better pud nga si baby is uh, breastfeed siya and then naman sa uban sad nga, kung breastfeed gani ang baby, kanindi sad ganahan o 
milk sa mama kay tungod na apayuban nga ka ng salty ang milk sa mama or lain siya glami like inana ang iyahang taste. So next is the maternal diet. If you're breastfeeding, you may try a diet without common food allerginess. Such as, kung allergy baka sa dairy, eggs, nuts, and wheat. You may also try eliminating potentially irritating foods such as cabbage, onions, or caffeinated beverage. So, mauna siya ang sa um, dietary change, changes para sa maternal diet. This is a parent self-care. So, money pinaka-importante. So, caring for an infant who has colic can be exhausting and stressful. So, stressful yun kayo na siya as a parent. So, even for experienced parents, yes. The following strateg strategies can help you take care of yourself and get the support you need. So, first, pinaka-importante yun is take a break. And then, take turns with your spouse or partner. Yatag ni mo si baby para sad makatake a break sa imong kakapoy. And then, or ask a friend to take over for a while. Give yourself an opportunity to get out of the house if a possible. So, pwede sad ka mo gawas ng kadiyot para matake and take a break ka sa imong kakapoy nga kung si baby has colic. And then, para sa ma-relief ang imuhang kakapoy. Or, ganan ba ka nga matug lang na may uban nga parents nga matug lang sad. And then, next is a use crib for short breaks. So, importante sad nga naatay crib para po sa, sa newborn or sa infant. And then, sa toddler also, pwede sa siya. So, use a crib for short breaks. It's okay to put your baby in the crib for a while during a crying episode. If you need to collect yourself or calm your own nerves. So, muna siya. Express your feelings. Importante said expressing mong feelings. So, it's normal for parents in this situation to feel helpless, depressed, guilty, or angry. So, normal na daw na siya to express your feelings. Kay, nga no, di ba ilalimpod nga ka ng after ni mo panganak na adaw, ka ng gitawag nila nga um, postpartum depression ni nana. So, is, pwede naman i-share yung feelings yung family members, friends, or sa yung child's doctor. So, next is don't judge yourself. So, dili ni may judge yung self because uh, don't measure your success as a parent by how much your baby cries. So, that's normal nga. Ang baby ka nang muhilak, no? Then, ikaw mismo nga um, as a mother, kabalo man yung ka sa pagpahilom si baby or to cope crying ni baby crying baby. So, colic isn't a result of poor parenting. So, dili siya resulta nga pobre ka nga pagka-parent. And inconsolable crying isn't a sign of your baby rejecting you. So, dili siya sign nga gireject ka sa baby because that's the normal for the newborn or the infant nga mo cry sila. Siyempre, di good sila kabalo sa misturya nga naunsa sila na Next is take care of your health. Mo po na, pinaka-importante nga, i-take care ni mo yung self, imuhang health. So, eat healthy foods, make time for exercise, such as a uh, brisk uh, daily walk, pwede. Then, dadunan ni mo si baby dito sa, i-ay mo ibutan si baby sa stroller, then pwede mo ka mo may mag-walk every morning. Okay, uh, every day mag mo painitan si baby. And then, if you can, sleep or when the baby sleeps. Yes, pwede siya. Kung matug na si baby, pwede sad ka mo sleep. Ka na kung makatug ka. Even during the day, pwede siya. Mabuntag. Kaya si baby, masigim na katug. Si baby na mabuntag. Then, pagka evening, bisyo. And then, avoid alcohol and other drugs. So, avoid lang taana. Next is remember that it's temporary. Yes, temporary ragyod nga. Colic episodes often improve after age 3 to 4 months. Yes, uh, after 3 to 4 months, mawala na sad ng colic episodes sa baby. Lahit na sad na nga um, bantaya, uh, age from 5 months above, lahit na sad na sila nga stages. But, naaragya po ng crying, magmaoy si baby, nana, and then kabalo na sad ka as a mother, as a parent, unsaw ni mo pag kung si baby ma mo cry. So, last is have, have a rescue plan. If possible, make a plan with a friend or relative to step in when you're overwhelmed. It, ne 
if necessary, contact your healthcare provider, a local crisis intervention service, or mental health helpline for additional support. So, muna siya ang have a rescue plan. Pero, ang usually sa parents, uh, mother diri sa Philippines, kay, wala may ingun ana, no? Pero kasagara nila yung masulti is like, naadjud ko na sila postpartum after nila nga mga anak. Next is potential future treatments. One factor that may contribute to colic is an imbalance of the helpful bacteria in an infant's digestive tract. So, one treatment under investigation is the use of good bacteria, monoprobiotics, to create an appropriate bacterial balance to improve overall digestive health. But, si Dr. Rasad mo, uh, si Dr. Rasad ni baby ang makahatag ni mo aning probiotics. So, dili si caregiver. Next is the caregiver intervention. So, caregiver interventions for a child with colic include the following. So, reduce or, re or relieve pain. So, pwede. A uh, assess a pain characteristics. So, pina third is pinaka-importante kung si baby nihila kanina nga oras, on sa nga date, and then acknowledge reports of pain immediately. Kung na ay pain si baby, imugi na siya yung acknowledge kay naaman, na, ka nang naman na ili, ka nang lista-lista dito anak para makita po sa parents nga, inani nga orasahan eh, inani si baby, nasakitan siya tiyan and na. Next is provide rest a period to promote relief. Next guys, sleep and relaxation. Place infants in a position of comfort to reduce pain. So, muna siya. Pero, usually, si baby, kung naikuan, eh, sideline position muna siya. But, ikaw nga caregiver, di ka mag-angatch-angatch. -angatch, kay basi unyag, muubo si baby niya, di siya kaginhawa. So, mauna siya ang caregiver intervention. So, that's the colic um, presentation.